What's up, y'all? I'm finally going to make you a video of the Grand Prix. She's a bit shy. <laughs> I haven't, uh, haven't really showed this car off very much. Uh, well, there's really not a lot to show off about it right now, but I mean, it's drivable and it works. I just, I got the Regal and, uh, I don't really drive it. And, you know, it was built to be like a fucking radical hopper and then I switched it all back to stock pretty much. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird right now. But anyway, I broke it the other day, like a couple weeks or months or whatever ago. Broke a trailing arm mount, had to fix it. It's a three pump setup. Used to be four. Used to have two fat boys to the front. Had a radical drive shaft and fucking telescopic. Well, it was a telescopic drive shaft with a carrier bearing. Uh, it's got two inch extended uppers. It had extended lowers, like one inch extended lower control or lower trailing arms in the back, but I took them off. Uh, at one time, I had a lot done to this car. It had a custom made box in the back of it. It's still got the JL8s in there, which I'm about to take them out. And it's got JL components and titanium tweeters in it. I'm taking those out too. I just pretty much jerked the radio out of it. I'm redoing it a little bit, but. Yeah, that's not a bad car, so it needs a new top. Frankly, I would just rip it off and do away with it. I was going to leave the chrome on it, like the top chrome, and then just like bowling ball paint it opposite of the car. Like, I like the orange still, just because it was black. It was originally black, and I thought about painting it back black, or maybe doing like a bowl and ball black over top of the orange but I, you know, I don't know it, it might look like a freaking Bengals mobile I just don't want it to look like that <clears throat> a little custom sunroof <laughs> yeah if you only knew what that really was <laughs> it works so it works It needs cleaned up, but it comes completely out and stuff. So you can like sit up in there. I think I'm gonna take all this paint off and polish it back to aluminum. All right, well, this is it. Let's see if I can set the camera up somewhere. I'll hit a switch for you guys. Didn't want to get too all crazy with it. It is in a garage and it's like butted right up against the front and the back, so I don't want to break none. Plus it's only got three batteries in it and one pump right now. So it's one pump to the front, two to the back. It powers threes and all that crap, but it's got 16 inch cylinders in the back, which is way overkill, but it's for the three wheel. It's not cause I mean, it used to, it would lift all the way up that high. I mean, it was ridiculous. Like it would, it was almost to your chest. It was pretty good. Uh, just flow masters on it with turn downs. It's kind of a crappy exhaust I threw on there. I need to extend the pipes and put them back in the pocket back there in front of the front of the axle there. It is bridged and plated in, in the in the necessary spots. It's got a 
It's got mildly extended fronts on it, the uppers. Just enough to make them straight, you know, because they bow really bad when you lock them up. But it's for driving, you know. I didn't really get radical with it in the front. And I should have, really, but I didn't. I got a way more radical set on that Regal. Uh, but there she is. This one's actually got a box. That's about the only thing cool about it. Makes it easy. Alright, that's enough fun. Well, there you have it, kids. It's going to be a bitch to get this thing out of the garage. Jesus, I'm going to have jumped it way over there. Damn it. <laughs> that's funny shit. Well, there she is. It is an 81 Grand Prix LJ. It has a small block Chevy, headers, flow masters, nothing like major done to the motor. It used to be really chromed out, but it's pretty much all just basic right at this point. So let's stole all the chrome off of it for another project and put this one all to stock. But I, I cleaned everything up when I took it off the other car and painted it before I put it on this one. So go get you a $50 kit on it. It's good. Yeah, this car was uh, the infamous orange gasm. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it used to be a pretty neat car at in its day. I've had it quite some time. I've had it, uh, I don't know, like 10 years or so. And it was two pump car and kind of a puss. Had a lot of problems. And I fixed it, and I broke it, and I fixed it, and I broke it, and I fixed it, and I broke it. Fixed it. Really broke it, then fixed it some more. So, here it, get, here it is again for the, like, tenth time that I've built it again or something, I guess. Put it back together, I should say. All right. Everybody have fun. Enjoy your week. Later.